Around the world, people are worried about radical Islamic terrorism. And where does it start? Well, unfortunately, a lot of it starts in the schools. On Mark Latham's Outsiders program, we've had the example of the very brave teacher from Punchbowl Primary School, Mrs A. She's named by that pseudonym for security reasons, but Mrs A has set out what happened at Punchbowl Primary in Western Sydney in 2014. That young uh, Islamic students, uh, we're talking kids here, boys the age of 11 and 12, at one stage they, they corralled her up in the playground and were chanting the Quran at her in Arabic. Absolutely dreadful stuff. And in the classroom, if they weren't happy, they were doing this one. Mrs A has uh, indicated as much on our program. Let's have a listen to what she had to say. And there were just constant incidents of particular students um, sitting in class and if they didn't like something that was being said to them, they would sit there and they would be doing this to me, constantly threatening to, to behead me. They would, they would sit at the back right, of the so class. so there was no doubt in your mind? That no doubt were, in my mind. Look, sometimes the they, they would even say, make, make comments that, you know, I can do this to you. And, and they would be, you know, quite threatening and intimidating. Mrs A had those complaints, plus at the school there were nearly 200 similar complaints logged into the official complaint list. Now all of it, the intimidation, the harassment, the bad behaviour towards Mrs A, the uh, nearly 200 complaints, all swept under the carpet. And unfortunately the principal at Punchbowl Primary said that uh, Mrs A needed to harden up and that's the way these kids are. So to leave them alone, that's the way they are. Well we need zero tolerance of bad behaviour of any kind in our schools, particularly when it's in the form of radical Islam. So Punchbowl Primary is an example of what's gone wrong. The Be Nice Brigade are sweeping these things under the carpet. Through the campaign we ran at Mark Latham's Outsiders, Mrs A actually got a meeting. A meeting in June with the New South Wales Education Minister, Rob Stokes. And what did he say? Well, not much. This is Mrs A's account of what was said with Minister Stokes. And when you raised it with Minister Rob Stokes, what did he say? Didn't pay any attention to it, really. Just everything, I put it all out on the table and he just didn't look at anything there. I wanted to discuss a lot of these things openly with him because, you know, I even spoke about our um, education system being quite left-wing ideology and, and he agreed with that and it's like, well, okay, you're the minister, you're a conservative government minister, what are you going to do to bring it back to the centre? Now that's hopelessly inadequate. No apology, no recognition of what actually happened, no recognition of truth truth and problems in our schools. So we're running a campaign, justice for Mrs A, to get the apology, to get the acknowledgement of what happened and a commitment from the New South Wales government, this will never happen again. If we wanna do something about terrorism, we'll have a look out to what's happening in the schools, support brave teachers, whistleblowers, truth tellers like Mrs A. We're backing her 100% here at Rebel Australia. Sign our petition, support her 100%. It's the only way to get justice for her and just as importantly, some realism in our schools, the crackdown on Islamic radicalisation with boys as young as 11 and 12. I'm Mark Latham for Rebel Australia. If you like this video, share it on all your social media and remember go to our website marklathamsoutsiders.com enter your name and email address to be part of the Rebel Australia Mark Latham campaigning here in Australia.